Welcome to prep episode eight. I figured today I would take you guys through a full day of eating to see what minor changes I've made to my diet. And we are currently 10 weeks out. So breakfast, we have two English muffins of the Ezekiel bread variety that I spoke about last video. They're cinnamon raisin. I have 20 grams of strawberry jam. And then I also have two whole eggs and two egg whites. I don't like uh, the egg whites out of the carton for some reason. If you know me, you know I already do not like eggs to begin with. So I prefer to use egg whites from an actual egg. Uh, it just tastes better in my opinion. The total calories and macros on the screen for you guys for each meal. And then total calories at the end of the video as well. 10 weeks out, a new low weigh-in this morning. I was 171. A lot of people think I'm heavier than I am. I'm not. I'm 5'10", 171 pounds. I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll get back to you guys with the next meal. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I can't, bro. I'm tired. He won't do it. I'm gonna do it for him. Listen, 23K views a video and only 15K, y'all, are subscribed. So, what the f are you waiting for? Tell him. Say, just go hit that shit. Do yeah. it. If you want to. Yeah, yeah. No one's holding against you, but if you don't, you're. All right, guys, just woke up from a nap. Uh, I passed out for about an hour, but having a pre workout meal, which is meal number two. We have 45 grams of cream of rice, 10 grams of honey, and 10 grams of almond butter. A premier protein shake. Peanut butter chocolate is my go-to flavor. We're hitting push today, and I promise I do do more than just chest uh, when I go to the gym. It's just the way that my schedule lines up because uh, I post on Wednesdays and Saturdays for you guys, and when I film, it's normally like a day before when I post, and I edit that night and post the next day. I'll see you guys at the gym.
that's the physique update. That's how we're looking right now, uh, 10 weeks out, so. Guy looks fucked. <laughs> All right, so workout is complete. I'm going to do cardio. Normally I would do cardio fast in the morning, but I didn't because we had something to do this morning. So before cardio, since I am a little hungry, I'm gonna have a Power Crunch bar. This is the peanut butter cream flavor. It's my favorite flavor. Uh, as you guys know, like I've gone through maybe like four different or five different protein bars throughout the past month. I like to switch things up because everything else in my diet stays the same. Uh, except for like protein bars and protein shakes. So I switched those up just to keep a little bit of variety in my diet to make it interesting. But everything else stays the same, like, you know, eggs and toast in the morning, uh, beef and rice. I mean, you'll see the rest of my meals today. So this is meal number three. I, I guess you'd call this a snack. So I'll show you guys meals number three and four tonight, but I'm gonna do 30 minutes on the incline treadmill and then I'm gonna head home. So, oh. Uh, got to meet Rob Lipset today. He's at the gym. Uh, he's gonna be here for three weeks He's doing some photo shoot for Alphalete. So that was really cool to meet him. I am feeling in incredibly flat and depleted today uh, Low energy the pump wasn't there like it normally is which is kind of odd I haven't felt this until today. I felt low energy But I, I've always been able to get like a decent pump, but today was kind of not it uh, Not really sure what's going on other than the fact that I am obviously dieting, but maybe it's catching up to me um, but gonna go do my cardio and I will see you guys back home. I do want to say real quick that if you haven't had this power crunch bar, it's absolutely absurd. It's so good. So just got home, made meal number three, which will be meal number four as well. So a whole container. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is prep. I just dropped it. Oh my beef. <laughs> All my beef went everywhere. Okay. Um, anyways, a whole container of VT jasmine rice. This is my favorite rice. So I do half with one meal and half with the other meal. And then a whole pound of 93.7 ground beef. I'll do half with one meal, half with the other meal. Uh, and that's, those are my last meals of the day. So that's meals three, number four. Total macros will be on the screen. And yeah. Also, the secret, Pepsi Zero. Uh, I switched between Coke Zero and Pepsi Zero. I'm on a Pepsi Zero grind right now, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and I will talk to you guys in a little. All right guys, so I just finished up meal three. Um, I do have a slight dilemma that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I was posing today and I was looking at myself and being my own coach, I was just looking and I was like, I think I'm a little too lean for 10 weeks out, which isn't a huge issue. I was contemplating one of two options. And I'd like to know your guys' opinion on this. So comment down below which option you would choose or what you think I should do. Uh, I've already made up my mind, but I'm just curious. So option number one would be to decrease cardio and increase calories uh, just to kind of slowly either maintain where I'm at or gain a little bit of weight um, leading up to the show and then dropping back down once I get closer to the show and I need to really dig deep. Uh, option number two being to just keep what I'm doing right now and then add you know, refeeds and more frequently and uh, have the refeeds pretty substantial. So um, knowing me, obviously I'm going with option number two because I wanna eat. It's better content uh, for you guys as well because I stay more lean and I get to show you me eating really good food, which you're probably more curious about than what I'm eating right now. But yeah, that was a full day of eating. Uh, I apologize. I know it's not the most interesting uh, full day of eating, this is just how I do it. I know there's a lot of people out there that try to get fancy with it, try to make anabolic uh, recipes, stuff like that. Personally, that doesn't work for me because the way that it kind of tricks your brain to thinking you're eating something else, I'm not a fan of it because then I crave the actual stuff. So if I make like protein ice cream or protein fluff or whatever, that doesn't work for me because I'm gonna be like, yo, I want actual ice cream. I like to keep it super simple, as clean as possible, uh, except for like protein bars and protein shakes. I will use that as my tool to give myself some variety uh, in terms of my diet, but Overall, I'm drinking around a gallon of water a day. I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio and I'm eating around 2,200 calories. I'm not suffering right now. I feel fine. Today was a little bit different just because uh, it's slowly caught up to me, but I will do another refeed pretty soon, which you guys will see. Hopefully I will bring you guys along, but I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for all the support. We are about to hit 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely absurd. Every single video that I've put out pretty much for this prep series has gotten over 20,000 views. And uh, that means a lot to me. 
Um, I am enjoying making these videos for you guys. Hopefully they maintain their entertainment and uh, you guys get to see me get more and more shredded. And then uh, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do really well in the show. If you guys would like to see more updates on my prep daily, you can always follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. The links are in the description below, as well as supporting me. You guys have been insane supporting me with using my code with Young LA, Gorilla, Helimix, Anabar. Um, so I really do appreciate you guys. Much love and I will see you in the next one.